It's going to be like a wedding ceremony and the renewal of vows. So I just went to a wedding recently. And because we're a sentimental people and we, we really love emotion, and by the way, I do too in our culture, the first look, the groom sees the bride, that first look is like the highlight for most people when it comes to wedding day. For me, because I'm still old school, the vows are still the most important part of the wedding ceremony. And here we're going to see Israel and God exchange vows again and renew the covenant. Here it goes. You have declared, so this is Israel's vows to God, you have declared this day that the Lord is your God, that you will walk in obedience to him. You will keep his decrees, commands, and laws, that you will listen to him. And Israel says, we do. This is your vow. And the Lord has declared his vow that you are his people, his treasured possession as he promised, and that you were to keep all his commands. He has also declared. So you're going to see who does the heavy lifting in this relationship. It's not Israel. He has declared that he will set you in praise, fame, and honor high above all the nations he has made, and that you will be a people holy to the Lord your God as he promised. These vows are really helpful in understanding why you would become second to God's first. Here's why. God demands to be first in your life because he designed you to be second. And you'll really only ever flourish when you're second. It's how he made you. It's how he made you. Hey, I'm John. And I'm Abby, and we are the hosts of Boulevard Online. Hey, thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, give us a big thumbs up by hitting the uh, subscribe button right down below. To watch the full message that this clip is from, you want to click right here. And if you want to watch some other videos, you can click right down here. <laughs> We'd love to see you again 1020 every Sunday morning. We'll have great worship, uh, fun stories, and a great message. We'd love to see you. Until then, be blessed. And don't forget to be a blessing.